this is a member shout out for Benny. Thanks for becoming a member. Today we're making Benny's birthday puffins. Let's get started. Okay guys, it's my birthday and I want to make cupcakes. I'm going to use pancake mix. So you need two cups of instant pancake mix, two tablespoons of your favorite syrup, and then we have a cup of cereal. You can use any cereal you want. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch works good. Today we have Honey Nut Cheerios. Then a little cinnamon, I would say a half a teaspoon of cinnamon or a teaspoon, whatever you want to put. And then one and one fourth cup of water. So let's get started. I'm going to put my cereal in the blender with the little bit of cinnamon. Um, you can just chop it up. Um, Put it in a bag and use a rolling pin. I'm just going to put it in the blender. And I threw some cinnamon in there. Now just measure out two cups of your pancake mix and put it in your bowl. Once you have your two cups of pancake mix, you are going to put in your crushed up cereal. Ta-da! And that had the cinnamon in it. If you didn't put your cinnamon in in with your cereal while you crushed it. Now's the time to put your cinnamon in. Okay, so just two tablespoons of maple syrup, regular syrup, whatever you got. Syrup wise. Now we're gonna put in our one and one fourth cup of water and mix. All right, let's see how this turns out. Look how nice that is when you mix it up. Of course, you're gonna have your little crunchies from your cereal, so don't dismay. And now we're gonna put it in our muffin or cupcake cups, and we're gonna make our puffins. Pancake muffins, puffins. <laughs> now this is totally optional, last minute thing. I'm just chopping up some chocolate bits and putting it in there because it is my birthday. Might as well have chocolate. Okay, so I got my chocolate in there, and now I'm going to put my mix in my muffin cups. I'm using the silicone ones because I do this in the air fryer. My oven does not work. So basically I'm going to fill the cup, I don't know, a little more than halfway. I don't know how much they'll rise. First time. So yeah, that's how much I'm going to fill it. We're going to fill all our cups, then we're going to put them in the air fryer. All right, so now we got our puffins all filled up and in there, the air fryer baskets. And we're going to match cook this. And I'll show you. We're going to bake it 350, 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes. I just love my Ninja. You turn it on, you match cook it, which it does both. We're going to bake. We're going to put the temp at 350 for, oh yeah, we'll leave it at 15 to start. I'll tell you what the final time was. There we go. Okay, guys, puffins. Look at this one got stuck together. And I have a double heart muffin for my birthday. There you go. They look delicious. I left them exactly the 15 minutes. So... I just want to show you how easy these come out and look at them. They look beautiful. They're definitely cooked. So, yeah, I can't wait to eat these. They have to cool a little, guys. And then we could put syrup on them. You could put whipped cream. You could put whipped cream and fruit. Syrup, fruit, and whipped cream. Whatever you want can go on these. All right, guys, I just put a little syrup because I don't have whipped cream, but I bet it would be good with whipped cream. Oh, my gosh, I bet it would be good with ice cream. Do I have ice cream? I did have ice cream. So, yeah, rum, tran, tres, leche, however you say it. That's the flavor. Anyway, some Haagen-Dazs limited edition one. Let's see. Um, 
what these taste like. The ice cream is melting. It's still a little hot. Look at the inside, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is my new favorite muffin. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, who knew? I never tried to use pancake mix for this before, but it is out of this world. The air fryer made it just a little crispy on top. I'm sure the oven will too. You could probably even brush butter on it. I don't know. Don't get crazy. Put ice cream and syrup on it. It's delicious. I'm going to go eat this. Thank you so much for joining me on my birthday cooking with Chris. And we'll see you on the next one. Check out our Cooking with Chris playlist for more. And thank you again to Benny for becoming a member. And thank you to all of you for watching. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And we'll see you on the next one.